there is a dimension known as the back rooms. Back rooms are a series of countless random rooms, hallways, and levels. A dimension of randomness, loneliness, and even emptiness. You might be wondering how do you escape these back rooms? How do you even enter these back rooms? Well, in today's video I'm going to show you, or we're going to learn together, how back rooms were invented. What is up everybody welcome to another video from your boy Ayo Mike you get what I'm saying and today we are about to finish the back room series from your boy Kane Pixels I've seen him I recommend it he just released a new video called uh back rooms informational video right so of course when I seen that I had to check it out you know what I'm saying because if y'all don't know about the last back rooms video that I uploaded right yeah. also also, I want to say thank y'all so much for the people who checked out the last video and I get so much, I got so many positive feedback, comments, subscribers, support, all that good stuff, yo. I want to say thank y'all so much. I'm really, really glad that y'all were entertained by that video because I put so much work into it and I'm about to put even more work into this video. So hopefully you guys are even more entertained, you know what I'm saying? So, um... That's for me talking, you know what I'm saying? We already know what the back rooms are, so let's get right into it. Now, this one is called Back Rooms, the third test, you feel me? So let's get into it, y'all. Let's go. Turn them headphones up, put them headphones in, whatever the case is. On July 2nd, 1988, the ASIN Research Facility tested its low. Right, right off rip. Why am I already scared, though, man? Is it the voice? Is it the voice? Is it the writing? Is it the fact that, yo, is this real? Proximity magnetic distortion system for the third time. Details regarding the results of the experimentation have not yet been released. During a press conference held in April of 1988, I am dead by... I can't do it. ...director of the AIDS Foundation described the intention of these tests, stating this program is granted sufficient backing from the United States government will I'm, offer hey. a solution to all current and future storage and residential needs and save billions of dollars on property construction and management. It's all because of the money, bro. Just because they want to save some money? They gonna really make these, they are gonna create the back rooms because they wanna make some money and save some money. Billions of dollars, bro, that's so selfish. I can't, man. Hey. The back rooms! Hey! complex, the door, the hallways, is a series of different rooms and some might even study entities, creatures, beasts, might even live there. Now you might be wondering, why would such a man, why would such a person or whoever create such a dimension of different things and entities that live in such a complex space? Are you even able to escape? How do you enter? Is there an end? Some might say, even if you do reach the end, it's just a cover-up for the next back room. Is it real or is it fake? Is it true or is it a legend? Whatever the case may be, just remember, there's always a possibility to go into a different dimension. So please be careful while you can. Stay tuned in the AO Mic Zone. Okay, so the back rooms was created in 1988 by and maybe over time it seems like they were using people as test subjects to put inside these these back rooms, yo. Ooh, 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 ooh it's starting to get juicy. 
I wouldn't be able to survive this, bro. I'd probably be one of the test subjects that would fail on the first level. Like, bro, you just wasted a test subject because as soon as you put me in there, I'm gone. I'm dead. I'm, I'm giving up because it's unlimited rooms pretty much. Like, bro, I don't know where to go. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what happened to me. I don't know how to get back to my dimension. You put me in these back rooms all because you... Okay. All right. So this next one is called First Contact. All right, so I'm guessing this is going to be like maybe the first test subject, maybe, or the first contact to the entity, maybe inside the back room, or maybe the first contact to whatever is inside the back room. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Async. Wait a minute. Let's just, I, yo, let's just really, 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 really give our appreciation to Kane Pixels, Mr. Pixels. All I want to say is, yo, you you did this. The fact that you created this whole storyline, bro, it is miraculous. Shout out to you, man, because this is some crazy, scary, creepy ass shit. It's like this shit looks really believable. Like, am I? Is it real? It ain't real, right? No, it's not real. Can't be real. Modifications, triple support, beam on internal chamber 23A. Introduce plus 13 edition RF cav oh, cavities. L372, introduced blank into the, was it blank? Replace detectors 4190. High precision beam now monitors for vibration exceeding. Nine, 90,000. Hey, 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 hey. Don't be flashing stuff on me. Hey, don't be flashing me like that, bro. Please, I don't need all that. It's going That stuff going into my subconscious, man. I don't need all that. I, I swear, bro, I don't want to be dreaming of stuff like this, man. If I dream of stuff like this, I might not be able to get out. There's the back room, man. There it is. What's about to happen? 1989. Hey, shit. This is... See, this is why the U.S. government can't be messing with stuff like this, bro. They, it's always some bullshit that goes on with the U.S. government, always. And I, and then they, I, when something go bad, oh, it's just an accident. We didn't mean to do it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. We were just trying to do a test to make sure. We were trying to test out what, what would happen with the background. Nah, bro. Uh, uh don't be doing stuff like this. Cause now look, now look at this, man. Now you created a whole different dimension by accident. All sort of creatures, monsters, beasts, entities, goblins, and ghouls, all because you wanted to see what would happen. The person, the damn scientist was trying to tell the damn person, that, like the head person, the head dude, hey, sir, we need to shut it down now, man, because this is, whatever is inside of there is really screwing it. Yo, it's something wrong. You know what I'm saying? There's something really wrong with this. We need to turn it off. And then you got to do, no, keep it going. Why? Why would you keep it going? There it is. This is how it all started, man. All right, so this next run from the boy Kane Pixels is called Back Rooms Missing Persons. So my guess is probably going to be countless amounts of different people that no clipped into the back rooms. And now everybody's wondering, bro, where did he go? He just literally disappeared before our eyes. We got to, you know, figure some stuff out. So I'm guessing these are all the people that no clipped 
to these back rooms, man. That's sad, though, to be honest with you. Like, damn, bro. I do feel for these people, yo. Mm. Nicholas Bolton, Margaret Watson. Reward, damn, bro. You got somebody uncle, somebody dad, bro. That's crazy. Somebody's, somebody's, bro, hold on. You telling me you got this young ass boy in the back room by himself. He's only two years old. He's only two. See, at least these people that got no clipped into the back room, at least they could run and hide and probably figure out ways to kind of avoid getting taken by these entities or whatever. Or like, I don't know. You got this two-year-old boy by himself. <sighs> bro, I'm 23 years old, bro, and I wouldn't even know what to do. I wouldn't even know what to do. Like I said in the beginning, I'm giving up. As soon as the first level hit me, I'm giving up. The first entity, Lord, take the wheel. I don't know what to do. Elias White. Janice Scott. Oh, this is the timeline. Look at that. 1987, 1988, 1989, 1991, 1992. It just keeps on skyrocketing up. More more people keep getting trapped into these back rooms, bruh. That's crazy. Oh, are these some of the scientists? This looks so goddamn crazy, man. This looks so real. Kane Pixels, you did this, man. I congratulate you, man. You need all this. You need all the attention you're getting from this, for real. Look at that. What's that? What's that? What's that? I don't know. I've never seen this like that. It may just be part of the environment. Don't go towards it! Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? I can't get comfortable, bruh. This makes no sense. This wasn't in the last report. No, this is... Definitely it's, it's organic. It's, it's some kind of fungus. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Whew, all right. I thought it was about to be a crazy jump scare. All right. All right, last video, the informational video for eternal use only. So I'm guessing this is gonna be all the stuff that tie together, all the stuff we need to know about the back rooms. You probably will, you probably gonna figure out right here in this video. And if not, there's gonna be definitely way more videos about the back rooms because, man, we're gonna need to know if just in case we get no clipped. Welcome to the Project KV-31 Research and Development Team. In this short, informative video, you will be briefed on the required protocol in regard to Project KV-31, as well as receive an overview of future development plans. Okay. What is Project KV-31? Project KV-31 pertains to the study and development of the Async Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System. Ah, okay, so KV-31 is the uh, backrooms experiment, but that's what they call it, KV-31, okay. The threshold. Got you, got you. For the sake of convenience, you may hear your peers refer to the project under any of the following titles. The back rooms. The machine. The door. The back rooms. The complex. 
hallways. Unauthorized usage of these terms outside of the async research facility is strictly prohibited. The threshold without guided supervision. Hey, hey, Never hey. Never enter the complex alone. Obviously. All expeditions are to be comprised of no fewer than three individuals. Right. 1990. Oh, 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 okay. You got to see somebody actually going inside of it, bro. Ooh, come on. Hey. Huh. Every single damn room, every single corner you turn look exactly identical to the last one you just seen, man. Yeah, I'm gonna need about ten people to come with me, man. Three, three ain't enough. You know that could that could turn into one very quickly. So you know what? Maybe ten to fifteen people seem like up my alley. That should that should be like the max capacity. You know what I'm saying? What y'all think? Where y'all guns at? Where y'all weapons at, man? Y'all gonna go into this place all confident what and whatnot? Yeah, I ain't got no sort of what. Yeah, but that was two weeks ago. Okay, you got four people. I mean, you really think that those guys actually have in your situation? I mean, there's too many variables. Because you can't really the whole circuit. Yeah, but I I don't even think they know creatures even exist in these back rooms yet. That's probably why they're going in there, trying to seek out certain things to see what's actually um, in there. Okay, okay, got you, got you. Guys, can you hear this? Mm. Yeah, I can hear it. What is that, though? Hey, yo, yo, homie, you go in there first. I'll be, I'll be right behind you. I'll be near the uh, exit. Hey guys, do you hear this? Hey! Guys. So even if you go in with multiple people, it don't even matter. Guys. Oh, that's some, that's some bullshit. George. Open. <laughs> hey! That's just like the video game. Oh, hell no. There's this one. That looks like a damn, I don't know, like a basketball court? That's what it looked like. Got the bleachers right there. And you got some, you, what is that, bro? What the hell is that, man? Uh, okay. I'm, I'm waiting for that jump scare to pop out because I know it's coming eventually. You good, man? The crazy thing is, too, the amount of time people be trapped in here, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I don't think I would survive it, yo, because I got hypoglycemia. My blood sugar went to go low. I'm pretty much good. I'm pretty much, it's done. It's over for me. You know what I'm saying? As soon as my blood sugar get low, it's like, uh, I can't, I need some food, man. I need some energy. Ain't no food, ain't no water, ain't no sort of edibles in this damn back room, bro. The amount of stuff amount of space you ain't tell me ain't no food to eat damn bro i'm the only food I, for the entities uh, uh man i see you. i'm a goner it's over i'm telling you i am telling you
What the hell, yo? Ugh! Why are you going in so close? Goodness! It's a different level, I think, right? Yeah, it is! It's a whole different back room. Oh, there you go! Grab that thing! Please grab it. King. <laughs> I'm so on edge. I'm getting, I'm getting pissed. Wait a minute, where he at? Huh? Close the door behind you. Hello? Damn, that's loud. All right, so this is gonna be, I think this is actually the last one right here. March 11th, 1990 archive. Okay, so this is like an archive file. This was supposed to get out. This is some, this is some secret file type stuff. Okay. Data not accessible. Yeah, see? It's top secret. Not top secret no more, cause I'm watching it, bitch. Formatting. Loading. Archive. Mm. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at at the moment. I don't know why, this is probably one of the most eeriest pictures I've ever seen in the back room. I don't know. Something about this damn room just gives me the most uncomfortable vibe ever. I, I can't put my finger on it, but if y'all if y'all could, do y'all know what I'm trying to say? Like, it's something about the room, bro. Like, the back rooms is pretty creepy. Like, the original, I'm saying the original back rooms that we all see and know, something about this one just makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, hell no. Switch the picture, please. Please switch the picture. Thank you. Okay, so we got a, it looks like a, a scientist trying to figure out the back rooms on how to probably invent it or something like that. Or what's going on with it. All right, looks like we got another scientist. Pretty much, it looks like they building it up over time. Are they inside the back rooms? Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. Was this the room homeboy was just in? That room not turned red? 
Was he? In, is this it? Is this it? You, there's actually people, it looks like, okay, hold on. It looks like going to these back rooms. So it's like they're monitoring certain things and people inside of it, right? You know, test subjects. Or it could be them just, this is like the beginning of it, right? And they're maybe trying to find out what's inside of it while being, excuse me, while being on the out, God damn, excuse me, calm down. And, you know, I've, you know, of course, they're not, you know, they ain't trying to be trapped up in there. So they're trying to monitor it from the outside in just to figure out what's inside of it. Okay. That's what it looks like. Bastards, why would you create something like this, man? Now y'all even know, y'all don't even know how to, like, control it at this point. Oh, because you wanted to, like, make some money. That's how it is in real life, man. Hey, 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 hey. What does that say? Due to the circumstance. I can't read that. Damn, I can't read that, bro. If, hey, yo, if anybody can, like, write this out in the comments, bro, I would appreciate it so much. No Zone 4. And then this looks like maybe a backroom entrance. Either a backroom entrance or exit. Maybe. <laughs> Woo wee! Hold on, man. Look. <laughs> it's that that picture. I'm still thinking about that picture, yo. That that really gave me a really uncomfortable feeling for some reason. I don't know. I can't. I don't know why, yo. I I really don't. But hey, Kane Pixels, Mr. Pixels, man. Again, top it up for my boy Kane Pixels, man. This is, this is insanely good. Like the fact that he's putting all this amount of work into this. To, this is the type of stuff I want to do, yo. This is the, the sort of filmmaking I want to do because this stuff is really good, really on point. It's very, very creepy. It makes me feel like it's real. Like I'm really, I low-key convince myself that this stuff is real. And to the, even now, it's like, is it real? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it like, you know what I'm saying? Can people actually no clip? Is that two-year-old boy still in that by himself? Like, bro, if so, we gotta find him, bro. We gotta find all these people trapped in here, but we gotta find all these people trapped up in there, yo. But you have to keep in mind, this was like in the 1980s and the early 1990s. So at this point, bro, it's like, are they even are they even still in the, inside the back rooms and if they are, I highly doubt that, you know what I'm saying, they alive, yo, man, that's crazy. All right, y'all, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe if you were entertained at all. Uh, click that bell if you wanna see a fine ass black man do well. I would highly appreciate it, you get what I'm saying? And also, please stay tuned because I upload at least two, three videos a week and I don't want any of y'all to miss that. Um, with that being said, man, you have a good night, blessed night, good day, blessed day, whatever the case is, wherever y'all stay. I'm out, y'all. Peace. It's not a game, it's a red stick.